At Georgia Transformer in Rinkin, Georgia, we use the newest technology to create and verify the design of new transformers. You can see here, our senior design engineer uses 3D modeling to complete his design and verify the technology being used. Training is a critical aspect for our operators. Before they can go out onto the floor, they have to go through two weeks of classroom instruction and hands-on training. At Georgia Transformer, we make our own insulation kits. You can see the different styles of materials and how we receive raw material and turn it into insulation kits to be used in transformers. We cut the insulation exactly from the drawing designed by our design engineers, and we make the insulation kits specific to each transformer. Every material we use meets the highest industry standards and customer specifications. We support every step of the process. This is the 5-axis cutter, which is a great tool to make any insulation desired. This is an automated wrapper for the static ring material. We have the latest transformer manufacturing technology, including semi-automated vertical winding machines. To ensure the highest quality windings, especially with high voltage coils, we combine gravity and our operator's knowledge and skill with these state-of-the-art semi-automatic winding machines. This is our CTC conductor helical winding. In the phasing department at Georgia Transformer, each coil gets phased separately on this special platform before they get landed onto the core steel. It allows our operators and quality team to ensure the coils, block arrangements, mechanical heights, and electrical heights are all verified before we land these phases on the core leg. However, before landing on the core leg, each of these phases undergoes isostatic pressing and vapor phase drying after the verification process. At our Georgia facility, we have five vapor phase ovens. These are used to dry each phase separately. As you can see here, these phases are under pressure and going in the oven. We have advanced core cutting and stacking machines, which allow us to produce our high quality, reliable transformers. The steps are perfectly aligned and the air gap is less than one millimeter. Here is an example of an e-stack ready to receive coils. We wrap our own insulation on the cables, and this allows us to cut the leads to the exact length required. Here you can see the cleats and leads after the cores are landed, and the top yoke is installed onto the active part. We ensure the proper clearances and tightness of the transformer across many verification points as part of our quality efforts. Here, tanking preparations are ongoing. Our operators are making all the accessories and preparing the transformer for tanking. We also have our own paint booth, where the final paint is applied to the transformer before shipment. The transformer then enters the final assembly area for the fit and finish process, which includes accessory installation and an additional quality check to ensure the transformer meets our highest standards. Then, the transformer goes to our testing department. Here in our testing laboratories, we perform all of our customer-specified tests, along with the tests required by the NCIEEE standards. All test results are verified by the test engineer, test manager, and the design manager before the transformer is released. We have a full-capacity oil testing laboratory. We can perform dissolved gas analysis immediately after completion of the tests on a transformer, which allows us to see the analysis results as soon as possible and verify the transformer before we go to the final assembly area to finish the product for shipment. Most of our shipments are done by rail because of the large size of the transformers built in Rinkin. The parts and accessories are prepared separately for shipment to our customers. 
Shell form transformers are still being produced by Georgia Transformer. The employees of Georgia Transformer are proud of the work they do to ensure a reliable American electric grid and enable U.S. manufacturing.